Now we're going to go into the individual back and front to give us more guidelines to draw the silhouette of the block. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. So usually we start with the back. Usually we draw the back first, then we do the front. So I'm going to go to the back and zoom in on that. So we'll start from the neck, shoulder, and then armhole. So here, oops, the width of your neck, also given by formula. Okay. And I need to go up. So what happens is, In the, form, in the instructions. The width of the neckline is a formula, okay? And you want to take a third of it as the height of the back neckline. So, okay. so they have used this as the, these are the same. I go up by the same amount, I come down on this back waistline by the same amount. Okay. Oh, yeah, back width by the same amount. Okay, and I go out by 2cm. So every school has a different way of drafting. So this is Bunkao's way of, of drafting. Okay, so I determine I have some guidelines to draw my neck. And if I connect this to that point, that's my shoulder, and now I'm going to look at um, some guide points for my armhole. So I'm going to measure here. I need to take half of that value and draw a 45 degree diagonal from here. One, two, three. Okay. Half that value. I need to, sorry, this will be 0 0.5 cm more, okay, at a 45 degree angle. There about. So that gives me a guide point to draw the armhole for the back. Okay. So that's it for the back. Now we go to the front and we do something similar as well. We need to decide the guide points for the front neckline, the shoulder, and the armhole. So if you go to the front. So here, again, a formula is given. And then here the formula is given. So I'm gonna draw a square box here to help me with the neckline drawing. And at 45 degrees, I need to create a little guideline here okay. to help me draw with the neckline. The neckline will start about 0.5 cm from the top. Okay. So they also have their way to decide the slope. So here it'll be double the slope of the back. So here it's actually two of that. And what they do is here, they do a square line. We need to know how long the back shoulder length is before we can decide how long the front shoulder length is. So we're gonna leave it there first. The last one is also to draw a guideline for the armhole. So this one would be 45 degrees again. Yeah. So this is 45. So this one is just triangle. This value. Okay. 
We do need to do one last bit for the front that we didn't have to do for the back. We do need to extend the front length a little bit. by half the width of your shoulder, uh, of your neck opening for the front. So these are some numbers or formulas that was worked out um, by Bunker. So if you fit very well into a Japanese sort of silhouette, uh, these formula will work like magic. Okay, but like I, us I always tell my students, whenever you pick up a book and you follow the instructions to draft the block for the first time, you always want to twirl that, that block because you do not know how that fits you. And because we are all unique in, some, in terms of shape and size, you do need to do that one test. Okay, and then you can see whether it fits you or it doesn't and then you have to do um, alteration before it's good as gold for you to develop the rest of your projects. Otherwise, the first project you make, it, that's going to be your test. And think, I'm for sure, things are never going to be 100% perfect in the first one. Okay. So for the front, I'm going to decide where my bus point is going to be. I'm going to take the front width. Okay. I need to divide it by half. I need to move to the left by 0 0.7, according to this instruction. And I'm going to square line down. Okay. 4 cm below this, that's where they decide is the bus point. Okay. One last point before we can draw everything. The side seam for this block is not straight. Okay, they decide to make the front bigger than the back. So it's going to be a slant line, so 2 cm to the back. Okay, with this, we are ready to draft the block. Okay, so I'm going to draft in red. So I'm going to go to the front. I'm going to start from the neckline. Okay. So usually neckline, you have to draw using French curve. So I'm going to use my French curve. So you always have to make sure you come in at right angle, okay? If you don't, you have a little kink in your neckline and you don't want that. Unless it's a design, you want a little, like a peak at the center back because we are only doing half the back. So this, the other half of your back is actually a mirror image. And the only way to get a smooth curve is you have to come into center back or center front, okay? This works for both um, at right angles. If you don't, you get a little peak. So shoulder, we're just going to join straight ruler. Okay. And you want to give it a measure. So mine's 14. Okay, yours will be different if you use your own, if you use your own measurement. So I don't know why it does that. Okay. So you want to make a note because later on I need to use this measurement to draw my front shoulder. So now I'm going to draw my armhole for the front. It's going to come in somewhere along my back width and then pass through that guide point to this intersection, which we call under bus, uh, under arm point. So again, this one we use uh, French cup. So I need to find a good place to draw. Okay. So it seems like I can't do it in one stroke because if I follow this curve, I'm going to be wrong up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in, in parts. So this is one and I'm going to shift it and draw it in two parts. So the main key thing is that it needs to be smooth at the end of the day. Okay, once you can achieve that, it really doesn't matter um, where or what kind of ruler you're using because I'm pretty sure you, you don't have the same ruler as I do. Or I'm not using the same one as you have. So it's got to do with knowing your tools and having a bit of practice with it. So I'm going to do the side seam. So it's going to be a slant. And I'm just going to outline the rest, the waist and the center back. So that's the back block. 
very quickly. You can, you can do this very quickly. And then now we're going to do something similar for the front. Again, I'm going to start from the neckline. So make sure you go to this point, 0 0.5 cm below, not here. Okay. Like this one for the front neck curve, again, you want to try use your French curve. Obviously, it can't fit. Let's see. Let's do it this way. I can't seem to hit that point. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I can adjust this later on. But what I'm interested in is it must be right angles coming to center front. This is my center front. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to have a little poke at the front neckline. So I need to draw all the way to this point. Okay, not the one above this point. All right. Now we need to determine the shoulder length. So for the front shoulder length, it's 1.8 cm shorter than the back. So my back one was 14, 1.8 cm shorter, that's 12.2, right? Yes. So how do you do it? Um, okay, so it was 14, right? So for this block, the front shoulder length is actually shorter. So um, 1.8 cm shorter. So I'm gonna do is 14 minus 1.8 for me is 12.2. So I'm gonna put my ruler, I'm gonna pivot at this point. Okay, so that my ruler can rotate about this point. So I'm gonna push the ruler, I'm gonna rotate it up until on the ruler, when it cuts the horizontal guideline at this point, my ruler reads 12.2. Okay. So here. So this length has to satisfy two, I mean this, Shoulder length has to satisfy two things. It needs to be 1.8 cm shorter than the back, which I am, and it must rest on this guideline. Okay, that's how they draw it. So that's the end of my shoulder. Okay. Once you've decided where the end of shoulder is, we can now draw the front armhole. Again, this one, you want to use your French cuff. So it seems like I can't do it in one stroke. If I do it, I will be ending up at the wrong place, so I'm gonna do it in two, two strokes. One, and then, okay. So again, you just wanna end up with something very smooth. So it's gonna follow this red side seam as the back. It's gonna come in as a slant. It's gonna be flat at this point before it comes back to center. And that is it. So this block is very straightforward in the sense that other than the formulas being calculated for you already, there is no dot. Okay, so it's a very um, relaxed fit and it's definitely not something that you want to use for if you're going to look, for, if you're doing something that's very fitted. 